I'm Scott Wallace. I'm a sustainable fisheries analyst with the David Suzuki Foundation. So I just came back from a six-day halibut longline fishing trip and I was observing this fishery that I've been involved with for a long time. This is a fishery that the conservation movement uh, strongly opposed. We were quite concerned about the impacts of this fishery and it's now moved to a place 10 years later to being one of the high bar example in the world of how to conduct a multi-species longline fishery. The skipper, under his own um, interest, has developed a technique to bait his hooks such that the hooks sink more quickly, which puts them out of contact for foraging birds. You know, this is a type of stewardship of the resource that uh, I think is really a sign that everybody, whether you're a fisherman or a conservationist, really all, everybody's respecting that we need to protect the ocean for all its critters. As a consumer, you'd like to know that your fish product comes from a sustainable source and the only way you can really do that is by knowing exactly what is going on in the water. And to do that, you need to have a sophisticated management system that has monitoring of the catch. The challenge now is for longline industry across Canada to meet this bar, which is counting for every single hook that comes overboard. And if we get to that point, I think we'll all be better off, our resources will be better off, our endangered species will be better protected, and there's no reason why we can't do this. There's a lot of innovative people out there, there's a lot of creative minds, and there's even technology which is helping us to solve some of these long-standing difficulties in fisheries.